Yo! Hey, what's up? How you doing, big fella? Doing good. Good, good. Welcome. Welcome on the Sports Center Live. You know what? Can I just get something? What up, Alex? Can I just get something off the, the drop really quickly? Yeah, of course. Do you have permission to use the term big ticket? Uh, man, I don't know if I do. I got to uh, ask KG, man. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, look, look, KG's a legend in this game. I'm not saying that there was a little beef between Dwight and Shaq because of the whole Superman thing. But you might, you might want to go get that legends. Just like, hey man, this is out of homage. Like I respect you, I love you. Just, just, you know, and not, not that, not that it really matters, right? Like you can do your own thing. But I just, you know, you're about to, you're about to embark onto, you know, a brand new mission. Are you excited about this draft? Yeah, I'm super excited. I can't go in there and just um, start my position. Really, go in there mm -hmm. and just impact. So. Okay. Well, what 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 type of uh, impact are you thinking you're going to make? I know you hear all these things. We don't even know when the draft is. Normally, we should be approaching it. This would be the time for you to be training, for you to get ready. What are you doing right now to prep for a draft that you don't know when, when it's going to happen? Um, just making sure that I'm um, doing, like, in-home workouts. Mm -hmm. Order right now, I'm uh, training and stuff. Like I do too much, so I'm trying to, like, do stuff online. Uh, keep my muscles coming up. Doing the ball handling drills, like stuff. So I'm doing like, all types of crazy stuff to just like keep me intact. Studying a lot of film too. So okay, um, real quick. So I'm doing. I'm checking out your bio. I got a lot of questions. I got a lot of stuff for you. I don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z. I know nothing about Dragon Ball Z. I heard you're a fan. Yeah. But I know a lot about Rick and Morty. I know a lot about Rick and Morty. What's your favorite Rick and Morty episode? Oh, um, get swifty. Get swifty. <laughs> Yeah. That's my favorite one of all time. <laughs> all time? Yeah. Oh, that that get swifty's a good one. The dance moves in it. It was it's like somebody get me the dream. Did it is on the line. It's like you don't know the dream he did single ladies. He did like yeah, no, no, no. That's a that is a classic Rick and Morty episode. I'm with you. I'm more you know what? I like the recent one. I like the uh I like the snake episode. The snake <laughs> episode. That that was classic. When you have a five minute just of nothing but snakes. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited about that one. Have you been watching? Have you been watching the last couple that just came out? Yeah, uh, I've been watching some of season four, so just keep up on it. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sold on having another child. I think one thing that might be able to. I have two. I think. Um, I'm not really sold on having a third, but if I can have a third, his name will be Mortimer, so it can be Rick and, and Morty. So that's what I'm going to do. Just I'm just putting it out there. Not that I'm a big fan or anything. Um, so you speak Mandarin. Uh, how the hell did you learn how to speak Mandarin? <laughs> uh, I learned uh, at a private school called Innsworth in Nashville, Tennessee. That's my uh, I learned in like ninth or 10th grade. So I just started fluently after that because I've just been brushing up on it and stuff. So you could just brush up on your, you could just brush up on your Mandarin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Me too. That's what I'm going to brush up on my Mandarin. Um, you were, you were, you know, you had a great, you know, high school career. Um, you, you were won the Gatorade uh, national player of the year and you were able to go to the ESPYs. Uh, was there one person, two people that you were kind of excited to meet, to see, where you were kind of like taking a step back of like, wait a second, like, why am I here? What is going on right now? Uh, I say Russell Wilson to Sierra. I seen it. And uh, I seen uh, one of the Kardashians there. You're just one of them. Yeah, just, yeah, just one of them. Because I like, you know a lot of them. <laughs> 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 and then, yeah, uh, I seen Zion too. I seen like a lot of players out there. Lonzo, I seen a lot of. Yeah, we don't care about the players. And you say Russell Wilson, but just say Sierra. You were excited to see Sierra. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> she said, yo, I saw Sierra. She was with this dude, though. I, he was kind of short, kind of stocky. I don't know who he was, but, like, man. Yeah, that was cool. It's cool. I, I, I have no issue with that. Was it fun? Did you enjoy the ESPYs? What was your experience like? Yeah, it was fun because I was on the red carpet. Like, it was man, crazy. Um, it, it was, like, a lot of celebrities where – you know, it was like a lot of social media outlets everywhere. It's like pretty fun, especially right now. Uh -huh. um, how, where are you at right now? Where are you quarantining? Um, I'm in Brooklyn, Miami right now. Miami, Florida. Yeah. You staying out of trouble, dog? You staying out of trouble? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Don't, don't for sure me. I know there's not a lot of trouble to get into right now because 
Uh, it's it's really low key. Everything is shut down, but it's still Miami. No, nah, bro, I'm very no, nah, I'm a very low key person. I don't be doing a lot of stuff. Bro. You don't be doing a lot of stuff. Good, because you're like 19. You're how old are you now? 19. When's your birthday? I'm March 31st. Jeez, you just turned 19. Yeah. Goodness gracious, how tall are you? Seven one. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> who are you looking most? Who are you looking forward to? You seven one. You're multi skilled. Uh, obviously, this game has been lacking uh, a dominant, dominant big man post presence. I'm, you know, since the days of the '90s, like right before I got into the league, where it was Shaq and it was Akeem Olajuwon and it was David Robinson and Tim Duncan, just dominant, dominant big men. Um, you know, I know every big man wants to prove that they can shoot jumpers and threes, and you're very, very skilled. Are you looking to get into? you know, more of a dominant post-up game? Like, what, what are you trying to do? How are you trying to impact? Because a lot of people have you projected in the top two or three in the draft, number one. Uh, a lot of people have you projected. <laughs> a lot of people have you projected up there. What are you looking to bring to the game? What are you th trying to – how are you trying to impact it? Really just to um, impact in the hallways, be a type of big man that's very versatile and stretch the floor up, um, can have a proper spacing, uh, be able to um, just, like, do all things. I mean, not really trying to um, sell like one position, but whatever the team needs to do, then, then I'm just starting off. It's just basically like whatever the team needs to do. Okay. Um, I have a couple of games that we're going to play. A little first thing first. This is the game. We play this every time. It's not right. that It's not that hard. Uh, are you ready? The first person you'll text after you get drafted is? My mom. Your mom's going to be there. Your mom's going to be there. Like, come on. Like, I just. I don't. Uh, gosh. You speak well, you speak Mandarin, but you don't know your mom's going to be at the draft next to you when you get drafted. Come on. Who's the next person? I mean, I don't. Like, I just text my family. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, first thing you, what do you want to accomplish in your first season in the NBA? Um, most definitely win rookie of the year. I mean, that's one of my goals. For sure. Okay. That just rookie of the year. Okay. Uh, some people might have said postseason. You know, I want to experience postseason. But we'll work on that. We're going to work on these draft interviews as we as we continue going. And not that you're going to have to work out. You're just going to interview people. But rookie of the year, that is definitely something that I feel is achievable. What's the first thing that you will purchase when you get your first NBA check? Um, uh, I'm a very cheap person. Good. Stay that way. Stay that way forever. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest Okay, that's – okay. We're going to work on these questions, too. We're, look, you're doing, you're doing great. Don't, don't change a thing. All right. Uh, first thing you'll say to AD when you guard him or block him? Oh, uh, Get that shit out of here. You a bum. You yeah. trash. Yeah. You want some of me too, old man, and look at Brian? Oh. I do the finger wag, like, you know, the Kimba Mutombo. You never know. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, this is what you should do. You should block him, look at him, then look over at Braun and be like, you want some of me too, old man? That's what you should do. <laughs> no? no? Okay, good. That's what we're going to do. Good. We got that check. Um, listen to him say, um, first place you're going to go on vacation when you're allowed to go on vacation. And if you say any, oh, yeah, where are you going to go? Hawaii. Hawaii. It's a good place. Great place. L low COVID numbers. You're that, that's smart. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> low COVID numbers. That's smart. Uh, what's the first person you'll hug when you win a championship? My mom, for sure. Oh, so you're going to hug your mom when you win a championship, but she's not going to be there when you get drafted. Like, what kind of, what kind of, what Man. kind of nonsense? I'm hugging both of them, for sure. Okay, good, good. Uh, one, man, I just want to tell you, uh, this has nothing to do with the fact that I've been represented by XL, uh, but you're a part of the family. I think you're going to be in very, very good hands. Um, uh, I think it's going to be a good opportunity. you got some really, really good people over there. Uh, and, you know, excited for whenever the NBA season starts. I personally think they should do the draft still right now and yes. then allow the draft picks to join whatever team. So if the NBA season starts in August, right? Yeah. Just do the draft right now and then let you go join a team. Just go join the playoffs, right?
Exactly. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Okay. Now, I just want to say thank you for coming on. Thank you for your time. Good luck and everything. The fact that you're a Rick and Morty fan makes me a fan of you. So good luck this year. Stay healthy. Stay out of trouble. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. No problem, man. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.